Hey, how are you? This is Dr. Nandi. I'm back again. Today, we are going to talk about a problem in trigonometric identity. So I'll share my screen with you. So the problem states, verify sine theta divided by one minus cotangent of theta minus cosine of theta divided by tangent of theta minus one is equal to sine theta plus cosine theta. Now in kind, this kind of problem, we start with one side of the equal to sign and then finally reach by algebraic manipulation to the right hand side, to the other side of the equal to sign. So in this case, we will start with the left hand side or LHS of the equal to sign, which is sine theta divided by one minus cotangent of theta minus cosine theta divided by tan theta minus one. Now that can be written as sine theta divided by one minus for cotangent theta. We can write cosine theta divided by sine theta minus cosine theta for tan theta, tangent of theta. We can write sine theta divided by cosine theta minus one. So again, the left-hand side is equal to sine theta minus in the denominator, we have sine theta minus cosine theta divided by sine theta minus cosine theta divided by in the denominator sine theta by minus cosine theta divided by cosine theta. Now we will do the simplification. We will bring the sine theta from the denominator of the denominator to the numerator, it becomes sine square theta divided by sine theta minus cosine theta. Similarly, if we bring the cosine theta from the denominator from the denominator to the numerator, we get cosine theta times cosine theta or cosine square theta divided by sine theta minus cosine theta. So eventually we have sine theta minus cosine theta in the denominator and sine square theta minus cosine square theta in the numerator. Now sine square minus cosine square theta is similar to a square minus b square, where a square is sine square theta, b square is cosine square theta. Now a square minus b square is a minus b times a plus b. Hence, sine square theta minus cosine square theta can be written as sine theta plus cotine theta, cosine theta, which is a plus b, times sine theta minus cosine theta, which is a minus b. And the whole thing is divided by sine theta minus cosine theta. Now in the numerator and denominator, there is both sine theta minus cosine theta. We cancel both of them out. So eventually we are left with, for the left-hand side, sine theta plus cosine theta, which is equal to the RHS of the right-hand side, which is sine theta plus cos, cosine of theta. Hence, we have proved the identity. So I will stop here today. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to write me a comment. I'll get back to you very soon. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I come back every week with new problems, okay? And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner, okay? Thanks, take care and have a nice day.